many eyes are regularly focused on Hunter Green. Well, the one thing about Hunter Green is he is a very astute student of the game. He understands. He has a plan. And you can see the last three starts really implementing the plans. One on. Nobody out of the batter is Wilson Contreras. Delivers. Runner goes. The pitch cut on and missed. And down on strikes Contreras. Stevenson fumbles the exchange. And Morrell has his second stolen base. Green gets the strikeout. Morrell claims second. No score. Two outs. Two on for Frank Schwindel. Schwindel three for nine in the series. As it's on the ground, and it's fair, and inside the third base bag, and head to the corner. In to score, Morrell, half on his heels, Schwindel into second, and it's 2 nothing. Frank the Tank with a two-run double. Almost like he knew it was coming and pulls it down the lines, keeps it inside the bag, puts the Cubs up 2 nothing. Great job of hitting. Second inning, Cubs off to a good start today. Nico Horner. Here's Horner driving one in the air, deep left field. Back goes Elmora at the fence. That ball is gone. Home run, Nico Horner. Cubs lead three to nothing. It's a 12-foot high wall in left. Nico turning on a pitch and driving it just over the top of that barrier. It's his third home run of the year, and the Cubs lead three to nothing. 98 miles an hour, and he turns on this heater and hits it about in the second row. Welcome back from the injured list, Nico Horner. Now the switch hitting Jonathan VR, and he's able to finish off VR. Second strikeout today concludes Green's first time through the order. Two on with two out. A run in for the Cubs here in the second. They lead it three to nothing, and the batter is Ian Happ. And he buries that one down. Swing and a miss. Strikes out Happ. I'll see if that can kickstart the Reds. Reds got a leadoff single. Now Kyle Farmer back in the lineup after having the last three ball games off. And he bombs this ball to left center field. Gone! Feeling pretty good. In his first game back, in his first A.B., he launches a two-run homer just left of the Reds bullpen and draws Cincinnati within one. Kyle Farmer with a very solid swing, lifting that ball out to left center field. Cubs three, Reds two, bottom of inning number two. One away and a man at second. And that one laced into left, half dives, and he made the grab. Wow. And they'll throw it into second and get the double play. Ian Happ continues to play outstanding defense. A low liner, and he stole a hit. From Reynolds and turned it into two outs. Well, that'll bring Swindell to the plate, who doubled his first time up. Swing and a miss. Green strikes out Swindell. And Hunter's quickly ahead of Wisdom. Runner off. Pitch is there for a strike. Bad throw down. Gets a piece of the runner. An awkward army crawl to the back just in time as Farmer rolls over top on the tag trot. All that, Patrick Wisdom has struck out. Rebos, who lined to the shortstop farmer in his first advance. And the pitch shot to center. Sinzel has it read. The green recovers from the leadoff hit. And the Reds are in business here in the bottom of three. Reds now with runners at first and third base for Tommy Fan. He swings and he scorches a base hit to left. Sinzel scores. Tie game. Ball just gathered by half. Stop side at third for Drury. A standing RBI double on a 3-0 pitch as Thomas James Pham makes it a tie game at three. Bases loaded. Pham drilled a double. Walks Votto on four and loads him up for Mr. Clutch Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson to left field. Down base hit. Drury breaks home. He scores. Pham rounds third. Relay. No chance. Pham slides in. A two-run base knock by Tyler Stevenson. It's a 5-3 Reds lead. East is loaded once more for the former Cub, Albert Almora Jr. And he scolds that ball to left center. Down base hit. Votto scores. Stevenson around third. Throw to the plate. No, sir. Slides in on his left hip. Almora delivers a two-run base knock. And a huge inning for the Reds as they balloon their lead to 7-3. to Got to feel good hitting against your former team. Here's Matt Reynolds. You got some pretty good speed on the base pass if you can find another bit of outfield grass. And he lines the ball to left. That is down and it skips past half. He tried to break on the slide. That's going to cost runs. Naquin scores. Almora scores. Reynolds to third. It's a seven-run inning and a 9-3 lead. 
So the infield in the man who began the inning with a walk Nick Senzel. And that is through the right side base hit. Reynolds scores. A 10 3 lead to the Reds by a touchdown. This is the most explosive single inning for the Reds this year. It's a season high eight runs in the third about Hunter Green and there is a focus that I, I just don't normally associate with a rookie swing and a miss struck him out with a good slider there down and in that might have been the best one he's thrown today and Green has a six strikeout Wilson Contreras in the box hitting for the right side against the hard throwing right hander Hunter Green pitch to Contreras he swings and drills one deep to left way back this is long gone into the second deck Contreras with a monster home run to begin the fifth inning 10 4 Reds here in the fifth this is deep into the upper deck I don't know seven or eight rows into the upper deck for Contreras it's the Cubs one more point back closer Ian Happ in the box Reds shifting three infielders to the right of second that's to left that one's back and that is gone Ian Happ dunks one over the left field wall and the Cubs with back to back homers it's 10 5 and for Ian Happ his fifth of the year underlines how special he is the opposite field homer Kyle Farmer who has been at two extremes tonight a thunderous two run homer and a well timed and executed sack bunt and he rips this ball down the left field line got line drive power he got a quarter zone shot he got three days off. He's bombed two and counting. Yeah, I guess that time off has really helped farm and play the game, young man. I mean, do what you have to do. You saw Kuno in the game yesterday, really going after the hitters. Oh, and he hits Contreras, who stares him down. And there were tensions late yesterday. Those are two big guys. Now, Contreras, after he homered in the fifth, see anything here? Well, he sat there and he enjoyed his work. And I don't know if the look was at Hunter Green. Or if the look was at the ball in left field stands. And the Cubs dugout is getting hot. And here comes David Ross, who got tossed in an emotional tirade last night. And he makes a beeline for Will Little. We believe that Ross might have been tossed before he came out of the field. Our cameras seem to see Ross go straight down the tunnel back to the dugout area. It's 15 to 5. Shift on the rematch between Rowan Wick and Joey Votto. Swing and a miss. Votto done on strikes. And Votto has some words as he goes a third of the way down the line. Votto's taking the gear off. Contreras taps him on his hip. And the umpires now intercede. And Rowan Wick, who had started walking away, twisted back. He stopped by an umpire. With words again, retreat to your bullpens, please, everyone. As Andrelton Simmons will start things off on the mound. Kyle Farmer out in front of 45. <laughs> Up and in. Look out. And definitively not on purpose. The shortstop is a position player pitching. He's not trying to hit somebody. Farmer's smile says it all. The Cincinnati Reds have 19 runs on 20 hits. And the eighth man to bat. Popped up. Medium right center. Caught. Tag at third. Throw to the plate. Cut off. Senzel scores. Sack fly RBI. 20 runs. This is the biggest explosion by the Reds since 1999 when they hung 22 on the Phillies. Two gone, and now the Reds have the Cubs down to their final out. Sky to shallow right, Nate went in, and the Reds rock the Cubs. They hang 20 on the board. 